Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I seriously hope your day is off to a great start. It's been interesting per usual over here. I still have a, have a teething baby, so it's been rough. Um, her bottom teeth are, are working hard to get there, but they're taking too long. But anyways, one thing I'm really excited about is I'm wearing beautiful dangly earrings and I wouldn't dare wear these upstairs around my daughter or I won't have earlobes, but I'm definitely going to enjoy it while I'm here with you guys. I'm super excited for today's video because this is truly one of my biggest indulgences. I just, I just love the scent so much. So yes, today we're talking perfume. Today I'm gonna share with you all of my Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes and I have quite a few because I, I'm obsessed. So if you are curious about all of my Baccarat Rouge dupes and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dupes. So if you're curious about these and my thoughts on them, then just hang tight. And if you are new here, oh my goodness, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I talk about beauty, fragrance, and lifestyle. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure you join the community here. And okay, yeah, let's, let's get started. So I do have a sample of the real thing. This is Mason Francis Kirk Dijon's Baccarat Rouge 540, obviously it is like all the rage in the perfume community and there really is good reason. It is really an amazing, almost one of a kind scent. I say almost because there's a lot of dupes out there, but this is the real deal. This is the original and I always like to preface this with, oh my goodness, the man who created this, the nose behind it is obviously so, 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 so stinking talented. It is a beautiful fragrance and I respect the man and the craft, but I just, on my budget, cannot justify forking out like 300 or more dollars for one bottle of perfume. But right now, I would rather play around with many fragrances than break my bank with one bottle. Although again, I totally respect the man and the craft. He is truly a fragrance genius. And I, I have gone in store and smelled this fragrance several, several, several times. It's beautiful. The one thing I do wanna throw out about the Baccarat Rouge 540. So you have the 540, which is the regular parfum, and then you have the Extrait, which has an added almond scent. I go seriously nose blind to his Baccarat Rouge 540. I, I can't hardly pick it up. Like I'll get whiffs of it, but I really can hardly pick it up. Now the straight version with that added almond note, I can really smell it. And it's funny how everybody's nose is different because when we were at Saxon Fifth Avenue, I sprayed 540 and the straight and I had my husband smell both. And he said the 540 parfum was stronger for him which I was like blown away because for me, I can hardly smell it, but the extrait, I like really pick it up. So everybody's nose is a little bit different. I will put the notes on the screen for you, but for the original Baccarat Rouge 540, the notes are saffron, jasmine, amberwood, ambergris, fir resin, and cedar. And then for the extrait version, you have bitter almond and saffron, and then you have the Egyptian jasmine, cedar, and then in the base you have ambergris, woody notes, and musk. So they are quite similar, but for me that added almond note really makes a huge difference. I am marking this tester with a little red dot, and that is how I will know it is the original, and pardon the noises, uh, Michonne and her dad are playing upstairs right now. <laughs> like, I can smell it, it's beautiful, but I can go seriously nose blind to this, you guys. She's up there talking up a storm, I don't know if you can hear that. So how I would describe Baccarat Rouge 540 if you've never smelled it is, it smells extremely rich, extremely luxe, like it doesn't smell like a run-of-the-mill perfume. It's very woody, it's very sugary, and it's kind of like a toasted sugar, almost like a burnt cotton candy. And then there's like this medicinal smell to it, which I've heard is really created by the saffron note. And by medicinal, it's like almost like the smell of when you walk into a dentist office. I know that sounds weird. Another way I like to think of it is like a sterile, like stainless steel countertop at like a modern home or like at a restaurant, like a modern dimly lit restaurant. <laughs> That's just like the vibe it gives me. But there is something very special about it. It really is. If you can get to a Saks Fifth Avenue or if you could purchase a, fra uh, a fragrance sample like I did, it's really worth the smell. <sighs> It's so interesting. It's so unique. 
and high end and beautiful. You just, and also just like, it makes you feel a certain way. Okay, so now let's dive into the dupes, now that I've had a little refresher. My first dupe is Alt Crystal 23. So this is supposed to be like basically an exact dupe. I think they're called Inspired by Fragrances. I have purchased from Alt now three times, and honestly, I've always been really impressed. I've had really good results with their perfumes. I actually heard about this dupe through Kathleen Lights. She says this is the closest she has ever smelled, and she does own the full bottle of Baccarat Rouge. So off the top, it's a little bit more alcohol. They are extraits, though, at Alt, so you kind of have to let it tone down for a minute. But it's extremely similar. I mean, extremely similar. Like, I want to say, though, that, like, Baccarat is, like, right here, and this is, like, just under it. It's just not quite as luxe smelling, but I feel like the notes are all there. It's not really missing anything. If you walk by someone, they're, they're not going to know this isn't the real deal. And this one I can actually go nose blind to, and the funny thing I've realized about Baccarat Rouge 540, for me, I smell it better the second day on my clothes. Isn't that odd? But like, this is one that I can spray it in the room here, or I can spray it on a scarf or a jacket, and I will smell it days, days, days later. I do not believe when you walk by someone, they would think you are wearing a dupe or inspired by fragrance. It is like so, 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 so stinking close. Honestly, it is worth the purchase to me. I am really, really impressed with it. I really want to test out their extrait version. I'm, I'm so curious about it. And I have purchased three alt fragrances now, and I, I've really been Im impressed with, I, or have I purchased four? I've purchased four fragrances now, excuse me. I've purchased four fragrances from Alt, and I've been really impressed with all of them. I feel like the quality is there. They smell great. They smell so close to the real thing. And I will say I was impressed with their customer service because I did have an issue with one of my bottles leaking in shipment. And they, as soon as I told them, they right away, right away sent me out a brand new bottle. So overall, I'm super impressed with Alt. They're a good dupe inspiration house. This was a random buy at TJ, I think it was it was TJ, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I get the two confused. It's really the same like experience, you know, when you're there. But this is by Banana Republic and this is Rosewood Amour. So out of 33 votes, I mean, it's not a ton of votes, but I got over four out of five for rating. So I thought that was really good and the price was right. So the top notes here are raspberry and saffron. Then you get the jasmine and orchid, and then you end with sugar and broxen and, and moss. And I've said this before on here, I find myself really loving perfumes that have moss in the base note. Most people voted on there that this smelled similar to Baccarat Rouge. Now, this does smell similar, but it's not exact to me. How I would describe this is like the spring-summer version of Baccarat Rouge. I think that raspberry note really brightens it, brings in that fruitiness. And to me, that makes it a bit more spring-summer version. It's not an exact dupe. It's probably one of those that in your scent trail, I don't think people would necessarily notice the difference. But initial sniff, that raspberry note just brightens it a little bit. Like the DNA is there, but it's just, it's just off enough. Again, I would say definitely a great option for spring and summer version of Baccarat. Next up is a highly talked about dupe. It's been all over the interweb. I, I honestly am a really big fan of this. This is the Ariana Grande Cloud. This was my first like step into anything Baccarat Rouge. I hadn't even smelled the original. I had just smelled this at Ulta and heard so many people talking about it and I was like this smells so unique and interesting and I'm like obsessed. So this is what started it all for me, you guys. If you're on a budget, this is honestly like, you can find this for really good deals online. I'm pretty sure I purchased mine from Walmart. I got the big bad boy here and it, it didn't break, break the bank. That is a tongue twister, break the bank at all. I actually think the packaging is really, really cute. My girly, uh, young at heart, side of me is like in love with this packaging. I can't lie. I do have a full review of the intense version. I'll link it down below. But you guys, this one is not exact at all, but it's so stinking close. Like this one, I would say honestly, is like Baccarat's younger sister. Like these are sisters. They're so close. This is one of those that I feel like in your scent trail, in your scent bubble, 
people aren't going to be able to tell the difference and you're going to smell so amazing. So the notes are definitely a little bit different here. We have top notes, top notes of lavender. My dog's going crazy. We have top notes of lavender, pear, bergamot, middle notes of whipped cream. Who doesn't love that? Praline, coconut, vanilla, orchid, base notes of musk and woody notes. So you can definitely see the vibe there in the notes, but they're pretty different. It is fun how notes can come together though, and even though they don't line up, they can create a scent that is so similar. So this is a bit fresher. This is kind of like the fresher version of Baccarat when you first smell it, but then after that initial freshness, which I think is definitely the lavender bringing to me kind of that freshy smell, and then after that's where you really start to get the Baccarat vibe. It's that whipped cream, that sweetness, that sugariness, that woody note. It almost smells like a smoky sweetness to me. And Baccarat has this very like aromatic vibe to me. Like it it, it makes like this soft scent bubble, but it, it, I don't know, it's just very eerie. And obviously I think that's why she called this one Cloud because that, it definitely has that same like eerie vibe. And to me, this is just like the younger sister. It's just like a step down again. Like if this is Baccarat Rouge, it's just like, it's just like a step down in luxuriousness. It's not quite there. But that's why I say younger sister. She's not as mature. She's not as sophisticated quite yet. But she's like following in her sister's footsteps. She's almost there. The next one I hesitated to mention because I have heard this is discontinued. I don't know if it is. And this one is supposed to be more the extrait version, hence the red packaging. This is Alharmain Amber Oud Rouge. Now I have heard this is discontinued for copywriting issues because it's so similar to the extrait version, but I don't know if that's really true or not. I have also heard about one called, I think it's like Orn Ornica, like Amber Oud Rouge or something. I will try to find it and link it down below. That's supposed to be just like this one, which is also supposed to be like Baccarat Rouge extrait. I'm obsessed with this one. The packaging is like super weighty, like it's heavy. Now I got this one as a tester, so I didn't get the fancy packaging with it, but if you get the real, not the real deal, this is the real deal, but if you don't get the tester version, you will get like this fancy red box, like it will give you all of the luxurious feels when you're opening the package. Mine came in just a plain old tester box. But this is actually a Middle Eastern brand and um, perfume, and so this one is a powerhouse, you guys. So this one is strongly medicinal at first, I mean strongly, like when I first smelled it, I was kind of like, oh, it's very medicinal, like, I mean like straight up dentist office, straight up gloves a doctor would wear, almost a burning tire. Like seriously, it's like odd at first. So the, that is a heads up. Like the, when I first sprayed this, I was like, um, what did I purchase? It's very medicinal, very. But then as you wear it and as it warms up to your skin, you get the most wonderful burnt, sugary, woody smell where you smell extremely modern and extremely sophisticated and luxurious and like you got a lot of money. It's a powerhouse. This is one that I definitely is not, I don't think this one is for everybody though. Even though it gets such rave reviews online, I don't think everybody's going to like this one because it takes so long for that sweetness to come out. If you don't want to wait for your fragrances to get there for you, I definitely think like Cloud or the Alt version is going to be better off because this one is so medicinal at first that you really have to give this one time to warm up on your skin and do its thing. But there's something, I don't know why, I kind of like that medicinal smell, even though I hate going to the doctors, like literally. Next up is probably the one I would say I'm the most, like the most impressed by because of the budget and how legit it smells and how wear, well it wears. This is Red Temptation by Zara. So like, I know that doesn't look like a big deal, but with how many perfumes I have, the fact I've used up that much is like saying something. This one, I believe, is less than $30. Again, I'll link everything down below for you guys. Numbers in my brain don't always work, so memorizing numbers, not, not, not my best. Now, the notes in this one are a little bit different. They're orange, and then we have amber, and then we have moss, but somehow these come together to smell so much like the real deal. And can I just say, I feel like this packaging is beautiful. It's heavy, you guys. Like, 
it's got some weight to it. It feels high-end. You get what looks like a lot of product in there. It's just like very modern, sophisticated, simple, yet very elegant. I love it. I love the name Red Temptation. You can't beat it. Like this is one, if I thought they were going to discontinue this, which I hope they never do, but I have heard Zara's kind of funny about fragrances. Like this is one I would want to purchase a backup of. I love it that much. Now this is one I will say I really, really feel like you have to wear on the skin to to get it. Honestly, with any Baccarat Rouge type fragrance, smelling it on paper is not the same. And even the girl who worked the Saks counter um, was telling me that about Mason Francis Kirk Dijon fragrances. Like, they're ones you really have to wear on the skin. Like, they smell pretty on paper, but you're not going to get it until you smell it on your skin. This one on the paper, it doesn't do much for me. But this is one where when I'm wearing it, I can smell it throughout the day. I get the most wonderful whiffs. I really believe in your scent trail, people would never know you are not wearing Baccarat Rouge. Honestly, it's so close to me. It like hits all of the markers. I love the price point so much. I love the packaging so much. It smells so similar. This one I would put in the sister category. I'm not going to say twin sister. And I don't want to say younger sister because this one is too sophisticated. This isn't like cloud. This one is still very sophisticated. This, okay, this one is the best friend of the older sister who wants to be exactly like her best friend and does everything her best friend does. And they both wear pink on Wednesdays, you know, like that's this one. Now next up are two that people claim smell similar to Baccarat. I don't think they're dupes, but in my opinion, if you enjoy the Baccarat vibe if you like the baccarat scent bubble you like the baccarat dna these are two that you might enjoy as well so we have burberry her i mean hello this one was made by mason francis kirk Dijon himself like he has a nose behind this the dna is there i want to say he made this one first and possibly what inspired baccarat this is an excellent fragrance. I love it. And I must say, like, the bottle itself, I was kind of like, Meh, I don't love. But the, the sprayer on this one is so good, you guys. So this one, the top notes are very fruity. We have strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin, lemon. So very, very fruity. And then we go into the middle notes, jasmine, violet. So we already see that jasmine note that we've seen in many of the others. Then in the base note, we have musk, vanilla, cashmerian, oak moss woodsy notes, amber, patchouli. So we can see those things in there that are definitely similar. So again, don't buy this one thinking it's going to be a dupe. I know I've seen people say this is a dupe. It's not a dupe at all, but the DNA is there. To me, this is like a second cousin or a really close friend who um, admires her best friend so much. She wants to smell similar, but she like doesn't want to go out and like smell exactly the same to her. She wants to have her own twist on it. It's so fruity in the opening, especially after smelling these other ones. It's like extremely fruity. This one is like a beautiful summer version of Baccarat, like straight up summer. And this is the very fun, happy-go-lucky version of Baccarat. This is not nearly as sophisticated. Like this one is not one that I would necessarily pair to wear to an expensive dinner or a fancy wedding. This is very, very fun and playful. This would be a great like little summer short dress with some cute wedges type fragrance. It's like just take out the saffron, that medicinal, modern, interesting note in Baccarat and replace it with like a super, super, super fruity, almost like cereal fruity. It's just so fruity, like fruity pebbles. If you replace the saffron with that, that's where you sit with this one. I really enjoy it. I love having it in my collection. It's a great fragrance. Obviously, the master himself created this one, so I'm very excited to have it in my collection, and it's obviously more affordable since it is Burberry than the actual Baccarat Rouge. So I love this one for spring, summer, really fun, really flirty fragrance. And again, I think you will like it if you like Baccarat, but don't listen to all the hype and purchase it thinking you're going to get a Baccarat dupe because it's not a dupe. It's a best friend. It's a cousin. And the last one in my collection that I've heard people also say is a dupe. Again, I do not believe it is a dupe. It's more one that if you enjoy Baccarat, I think you will enjoy this. 
in It Is Sensual Instinct by Montal. Again, you can find these very affordable online. I will try to find a link and put it down below. This one to me is a very beautiful fragrance, but I don't think everyone's gonna love this one, honestly. Like when I first smelled it, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like it. Like it's one you have to learn to like. It's not like, it's not an everyday fragrance. It's not kind of one of those easy to love fragrances. I can't believe I've seen people online say this is a dupe for Baccarat because they, their noses must be broken. It, it's not a dupe. Now this one is my favorite when I pair it with my Sweet Peony by Montal. I, I think that softens it a bit. It brings in a little more sweetness because this one is pretty unisex. Like I could definitely see either gender wearing it. Kind of like a coffee that's gone bad, like a coffee you've let, let sit out for a couple days. I know that, that doesn't sound pleasing. That's why I say it's like, it's one that you it has to grow on you. It's almost like a bitter, it's like a bitter coffee, a bitter chocolatey type smell. There's definitely like a thick rose in there. And then you have that oak moss and amber and cedar that start to come out. And when those start to come out, that's where I feel the DNA of Baccarat is there. Like, I get how people who like Baccarat like this. But to me, this is like the great aunt of Baccarat. Like, it's very mature. It's not playful at all. It doesn't start off sweet. It builds in sweetness a bit, but it never gets like super sugary sweet. It doesn't remind me of cotton candy like the original Baccarat or any of the dupes I've mentioned here. This is like the great aunt. This is like, this is a weird comparison, but like this is when you hug a great aunt at a funeral. She's wearing a perfume like this. She's wearing um, probably dress pants and like a woman's fitted suit jacket. Like this is more like, like that very mature, very put together not it's not a fun occasion this is kind of like ceo this is like important business meeting you're not there to play games and you're not looking to have a good time like it sounds weird i still enjoyed this fragrance and it has a time and a place but again i prefer it when i pair it with something a little more fun a little more sweet a little more light because it's very mature it's very mature well, you guys, that is all the dupes in my current collection. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, leave it down below, and I will definitely try my best to get back to you guys. And yeah, I don't know. I love all of these. Like I said, if I had to recommend one, if you are looking for a dupe, I feel like this would be my best recommendation. Then if you are wanting to spend a little bit more, Alt would be my next recommendation because it's very, very, very similar to the original. But if you are wanting just to be in the Baccarat realm, like you want to smell a little like Baccarat, but you don't want to do a dupe house, then obviously it's Ariana Grande all the way. It's wonderful. So yeah, you guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we could try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.